So welcome back guys. Today we got a fun project. We're gonna try something new. So we had to take that big stump out. You guys saw Jack was I think three days digging on that thing with the backhoe. Several of you emailed and said, why don't you just burn it out? So I have one that's even bigger, quite a bit bigger than the one Jack dug out. And I, I mean, I just don't want to go through the process of the four days and, and the huge mess and all the time that goes into that. Let's try to burn it out. So I was thinking, what, how could we do that and keep that fire going? Because being in the ground, you know, the wood is wet and it's kind of hard to get a stump going. But I know they burn because I've seen many of them burn for weeks on wildland fires. So it's just a matter of heat, right? Heat and BTUs. Here's what I came up with. I've got these three Orion torches. These are just roadside torches like the cops are gonna use. And I've got this great big drill bit here on my Milwaukee Magnum. Hopefully it'll twist this thing. How about we bore down into that stump all the way, bury these things, all three torches in there, and then build sort of a chimney. I saw some guys online that were using 55 gallon drums and I don't have one, but I've got this one, I've got this old vacuum deal, it's, it's metal, it's gonna have to suffice. Uh, but it's closed in the bottom. We'll cut the top of it out, do some holes in there to let some air come in there, and then the coup de gras is five gallons of anthracite coal. This has got a lot of BTUs on it. Once that gets established and we get those torches going, how about we introduce and dump that inside the bucket and see what happens. So let's get this cut off and we'll see, how, see if it works. This is our stump, it, it's big. It's uh, five foot across. So I'm not, I've never done this before, so I'm not sure exactly what's gonna happen. Actually, we looks like we tried to start this on fire a time or two and it just went out. So let's just, uh, I'm, I'm hoping we'll just get reach kind of a critical mass here and it'll just take off. Um, I don't even know I, I've never tried to put a flare out. Like, it, can you put a flare? I, I imagine you could put a flare out by putting sand on it. Is this going to be so tightly packed in here that the flares won't burn? No, we'll find out here together. We'll see. So let's drill our first of three holes. We'll have to drill them small enough where the chimney will fit. I know, drill's a little light for this. All right, we'll go with that. So we got the igniter cap here. If we drop that down in there like that, oh, that's perfect, look at that. Now we can, we can light these all at the same time. Once they get going, then we'll pour that anthracite on there. Let's drill another hole. Put our second torch in here. It's all right if that sticks up there a little bit, I think. And our third. Well, that's water. Ah, uh, that must be, uh, must maybe the fire burned down there. We don't want to put it there. Let's drill another hole over here where we got that hard, that more solid wood. Yeah, I think that's that's all she wrote. We're gonna burn it up if we don't be careful. Just like you guys, I am really curious what's gonna happen here. So let's. One time use. Now what will happen if we introduce some coal? Oh. I don't want to put them out. What we need is massive heat to get this thing going. Like on a blacksmith forge, how you get that heat is introducing air, right? 
I've got a big electric motor, a ball door. It's got a ball door air pump on it. I bet we could prop that up here with a rock and blow into that hole and see if that will get, us, get it cooking even hotter. Let's do that. Check out this unit. Is that a whole horsepower? I think it's a whole horsepower single phase motor. That's got a big blower on it. So I've got that big hole cut in the side of that barrel. What would happen if we uh, directed this? Of course, we'll remove it, but just till we get everything ripping. Let's see what happens here. So I turned the blower off. It doesn't seem to be helping quite yet. Uh, the torches are burning down into the, into the wood. I think what we need is to dump about a gallon of diesel on there. That'll get that coal going. I've got a gallon and a half of a 75-25 mix of gas and diesel. Don't try this at home. I am a professional. But I'm not sure what's going to happen here. That's about half of it. Now we got flames. I think that's what we needed. <laughs> now we're cooking with gas. I should probably figure out a way to duck that that blower. Let's see, maybe I have a piece of, if we could set that blower over here out of harm's way, throw it on a piece of pipe that we could kind of sacrifice, I think that's what we want. The idea is to get a fire so hot that it just just burns everything. That's putting out some BTUs now. <laughs> My granddad always said, I can say this because I've because we come from Indian, American Indian family. Uh, white man, or see, Indian builds small fire, sits real close. White man builds big fire, sits way back. <laughs> I think we need to, yeah. We're gonna need to uh, remotely operate this guy. It's gonna catch on fire. Check this out, this would be perfect. I got a piece of old stove pipe from, uh, from the uh, wood stove. If we put, just pour that guy in there, right? When we get big slash piles going, we've used weed blowers. Sim similar concept here.
I'm gonna get rid of the blower. I think it's uh, there's enough wind, could pretty good wind blowing around, just kind of feeding it. I can still hear the flares burning, but I can't see them. I guess we'll see what happens soon enough. It's 12 o'clock, so it's about straight up noon. We'll check it on the hour and uh, see if, I think once it, if it takes, I may have put too much coal on there. Maybe I should have let, let it like kind of sprinkled in a little bit rather than dumping the whole thing on there, but I can still hear the torches burning. The flares are still burning under there somewhere, which is really interesting. Anyway, we'll check it back on the hour and we'll uh, see what happens. It's exactly one hour later. Man, this is lame. This isn't working at all. It didn't even catch on fire. The coal's not even burning. It's hopeless. This is like the second time I've tried to burn the stump down. Well, you th would have thought that coal would have caught on fire, wouldn't you? I mean, this, it didn't even burn. I thought coal burned better than that. We got this guy over here burning and that wasn't even anywhere near the torches. I'm not sure how to go about this. This is where I'm gonna need some help from my redneck friends. Rednecks always have good solutions for burning stuff or breaking it. Um, I, I watched a couple of guys on YouTube do it with, uh, but they just had little stumps of the, you know, the barrel fit over top of it and they built the fire and of course it turned off, but I've never seen anyone tackle one that this, that's this huge. Um, I know you can bore the holes and the, is it the lye or there's some sort of a powder chemical in there and that's fine, that takes an age. I want something with more drama and more fun than that. So give me your suggestions. How can we get this big thing burning? I mean, we could do this, we could like bore we could bore a big hole in it somehow, like let's say like a four incher, maybe take the chainsaw and plunge cut down like a big, maybe six inch hole in the middle and then come in from the side, like dig out underneath of it, come in from the side and get that air so that as the fire is burning, you know, it's feeding like a rocket stove deal from the side, you know, maybe that's an option. Uh, but let me know in the comments what we could do. What we need is some white phosphorus. We could pour pour about five gallons of white phosphorus on there, that'd get it going, wouldn't it? <laughs> I don't know what the, uh, some guy was saying tannerite, uh, or actually no, the guy, the, yeah, a guy was telling me uh, that he blows stumps up with tannerite, uh, like big amounts. Apparently, a container of tannerite is equivalent to like a quarter stick of dynamite. So he was getting, he, he was blowing like massive stumps out. But the problem with that is, is I don't know how much to use and it's, very close to like the shops and the garages and all that and I you know that, that that could end well I don't think I want to go that route Mrs. W wouldn't be down with that at all let me know let me know in the comments I'm sorry I thought we would have more success than this sometimes you win sometimes you don't and we'll uh, we'll hit it again thanks for watching we'll see you guys in the next video